If you have made a video from your iPhone and the audio quality sucked, then this is the video for you. Hey, this is Scott Widenkiewicz. I just did a video about a new backpack that I am planning on to review more in-depthly as I travel. And while making the video, I was walking around and doing some B-roll footage and I did not use my on my uh, my Zoom microphone for my iPhone because I wasn't expecting to add audio. And then I decided to talk to my phone. So of course I had some audio. The audio quality was not good because the audio out of the iPhone alone is not very good. And ScreenFlow, which is the software I have typically used for recording, it's actually what I'm using right now to record my screen, the computer audio, my microphone, and my webcam. It doesn't do well with enhancing audio. In fact, it doesn't do well with enhancing video either. So, uh, so, so I decided to give Final Cut Pro a try. I wanted to see what it can do. And to my great surprise, it made my iPhone sound so much better. So I want to go to the screen and show you exactly what I did. I am brand new to Final Cut Pro. This is actually the first day I'm using it. I am not used to everything that it can do. I am not used to so much of it, but I want to show you what I discovered that I can do in Final Cut Pro. Right from here, I added a clip to this project and I'm inside of the audio in, uh, panel of this one clip. And you can see here that the audio analysis is not analyzed yet. So I'm going to have it analyzed for me. You can say it's fixed. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch it from flat to trouble re reduce because the audio was actually pretty poor. So before I show you what that sounds like with it, I'm going to show you what it sounds like. So as you can see, the bag is really small. It is extremely small. So you can see that the audio quality is quite tinny, right? It is pretty, pretty thin. So I'm going to turn on this EQ with again, it is automatically analyzed by Final Cut Pro. And then I change the audio enhancement to trouble reduce and now listen. So as you can see, the bag is really small. It is extremely small. So as you can see, the audio quality sounds more like I'm talking to a shotgun microphone. It is more precise. It sounds like the microphone is very close to my mouth when really I was pretty far away. I was a good five or 10 feet from my iPhone. And, and, and there was a lot of ambient noises from the birds and everything going on outside and just wasn't so good before. Now, even though this is all fixed, I can go ahead and add additional effects. I could add in some limiters to bring it up and make sure I don't have peaking and all that great stuff. I'm going to rewind once more and I'm going to hit play before and after so you can hear as it's going how this sounds. So as you can see, the bag is really small. It is extremely small. It's probably the smallest backpack I have right now. And there's some advantages to that. So you can see how much better the audio quality is. And all I did was edit the audio of this clip. So next time you have a, a, an iPhone video that the audio quality is just that bad, consider investing in Final Cut Pro because I can tell you just from the 10 minutes I've played with it, it is going to do wonders for the rest of my videos. <laughs>